right, Nathan, I know you're big and strong, but you're not so strong that you can power a Jeep Wrangler. What are you doing in there? Well, it's not Flintstone folks. This is actually a candidate for a transplant, a real one. Yeah, and the transplant you won't believe. Follow me over here. Here's the rest of the Jeep, and this is what makes it so cool. Check it out. It's the Hemi engine out of an SRT Jeep Grand Cherokee. That's right, 475 horsepower going right where My Nathan is. is. Coming up next on the Fast Lane Car. All right, Weston, tell me about this crazy Jeep. I mean, we've got the uh, body off the frame, and there's a reason for that because of this. What's this? That is a 6.4 liter Hemi V8 straight out of an SRT8 Grand Cherokee. So this is the 475 horsepower monster that you're putting in a Wrangler. That's correct. All right, why are you doing that? Well, you know, uh, the, the engines out of these Jeeps are already kind of small. Once you start adding big tires, body armor, big lifts, you know, they, they need a little extra help. And uh, an additional, what, the Pentastar has like, I think, 280, somewhere right around Pentastar is around 275, Five. 285, so we're going up to 475. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a brand new engine, a crate engine, is that right? Brand new from Mopar. All right, yep. so how, how much is this? Um, so for this, for the 6.4 liter conversion, you're looking at $27,500. Um, we also offer the smaller 5.7 liter Hemi, and that starts at around 20000 So you're starting with an unlimited Jeep, which probably starts at around... 40,000, maybe mm -hmm. a little bit higher than that. Plus you're adding $27,000 worth of uh, SRT muscle to it. So what do these things go for? You know, uh, they can, you could have a Jeep that still looks stock, but has a big motor in yep. it. So now you're somewhere around 70 with that. Yep. You can, or you can go big. Oh, and, yeah, tell me about you know, the big one with all the toys and whistles. Well, and, we, we priced one out at 140,000 and that was bigger axles, big suspension, big tires. Um, the suspension's really cool. It's pretty much exactly what's off of a desert racing truck, so you could go as fast as you want through the desert, drive home in it. All right, walk me through what else you've done to this. I mean, obviously there's a little light bar here. Sure. Got a winch. So this is a light bar made by Rigid Industries. Um, it's all LED. This is their 20 inch uh, version. They have a bunch of different sizes. They go all the way up to a 50 inch light bar. Um, 100% made in the U.S. We put a lot of these on. Our customers really like them. Nice thing about LEDs is they run really cool and they have a long life to the bulbs. Yep. Um, this bumper is made by AEV, yep. American Expedition Vehicles. Um, really nice full width uh, bumper, matches the lines of a Jeep really well. Winch? Winch, yep. That's the winch cable coming through. Um, how, how, how many pounds? 9,500 pound winch. So easily pull this out. More than enough, yep. Yeah, or jack it up a tree. Yep, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Weston, this is your personal Jeep, right? That is. And the cool thing is it's got the SRT engine in it. So what TFL video will be complete without actually hearing what this beast sounds like? Unfortunately, we can't take it for a ride right now, but at least we can listen to it. Go ahead, Tommy. Start this bad boy up, would you? attention of the wrong people. That's right. <laughs> Grand Cherokee transmission right. as well? Um, no, with the 2012 and 2013 Wranglers, we actually keep the existing transmission. We just put a different bell housing on. For the older Wranglers from 07 to 11, they actually come with a whole new transmission in them. So this is a six speed out of the Wrangler? Five speed. A five speed out of the Wrangler. Yep. And it can handle all that torque? Yes, it can. All right, and how about the exhaust? It looks like you've got uh, yep. um, headers going into a single. So with every Hemi conversion, they come with their own specially made um, 
exhaust system, all designed for them to pass 50 state emissions. Um, so you know, you run it through uh, through the smog sniffer, you're not going to have an issue. And how about these front uh, shock absorbers? They look like they're aftermarket. They are. Um, so these are made by King Shocks. Yep. Um, uh, they have an external reservoir. They also have on the bottom of the reservoir a uh, dampener adjuster. Um, people really like them. And how about the wheels and tires? How, how much bigger are they? Uh, so these are uh, 315, so they roughly measure about 35 inches. Um, we don't really change the size of the wheel. They're all 17s, but yep. we kind of put on a beefier off-road wheel for them. All right, let's, let's go to the back here. I see something that's different. You've got an extra fuel. Yep. So this is an extra uh, secondary fuel tank made by Genrite, all aluminum. Um, basically, uh, with this tank, the stock tank, and then the extra five gallons you can hold in the fuel caddy, you have about a 600-mile range. So how many gallons altogether between the three tanks? I'm going to ask on that one. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, mean, I don't want to misquote. A, yeah. it's, it's a pretty thirsty engine. <laughs> Very thirsty. It's putting out a lot of horsepower. All right, how about the four-wheel drive system? We do not mess with that. Jeep got that right, right off the bat. <laughs> uh, and the frame and you know the rest of the components that, that the car needs, the heater, yep. and all that stuff. Obviously. Frame is frame is good. Um, it's uh, for its class of vehicle. It's a pretty beefy frame for it. And I notice you've got custom uh, shock absorbers in the back. Yep, as well. matching kings in the back. So how much will this Jeep cost when it's all bolted back together? I'm going to guesstimate that this Jeep is approaching 100,000 once it's all done. So it's got a lot of bells and whistles to it. Oh yeah. All right. And what's it like driving it? drives like a dream. Yeah. You can drive this to work every day, one hand on the steering wheel, 75 miles an hour down the highway, and never even know you're in a Jeep. Nathan, I love the fact that we're putting more power into a Jeep, but you know what? I gotta drive it, and unfortunately... Oh, there's nothing unfortunate about it, because later on, coming up soon, we're gonna take one of these off-road. This guy, you mean? That's right, folks. A Wrangler with a 475 horsepower SRT engine? That's right, something you can actually buy and own. Coming up very shortly on the Fast Lane Car, so stay tuned. As always, this is Roman and Nathan. See you soon. All right, Nathan, normally when we come up here, we go that way because well, because that's an easier trail. That's a trail that has the mud pit, and that's the trail we take a lot of the crossovers that we have to test. But that way is what, Nathan? That way's the big mama. That's right, and we're gonna take these bad Jeeps up one of the hardest trails here and see how they do with all the off-road gear. I don't think it's gonna be a problem. Eh, I think we might be winching a little bit. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> 